Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. So it's been about two weeks since I started taking Lutera, which is birth control pills. And you know guys, things are going up and down. Last week I told you guys that my bloating is uh, less painful, I'm less bloated and I feel kind of normal mostly but today this week is a horrible week I do feel very bloated like almost back to my not normal that I had during pregnancy and right after and you know like can you imagine waking up and I was on my belly sleeping and throughout your sleep you just feel your uterus and ovaries you laying down on your belly and you just feel your uterus and ovaries all that time throughout your sleep and you're still sleeping but throughout your sleep you feel kind of pressure and cramps and kind of pulling sensation in there and you wake up and it's not going away it's staying with you and it's damn I I'm so sorry when I go to the bathroom to do the second thing the big one and I push I feel my uterus and my ovaries a lot I just feel them I feel a lot of pressure a lot of discomfort down there I usually have this feeling right around ovulation for a day or two or during my period or before my period but this is not the case I'm on birth control pills that this is not ovulation like I know that this is not my period because this is my week two taking birth control pills I need to complete week three I need to finish week three in order to start bleeding after that so this is not ovulation this is not um, period this is just something different you guys and I kept saying my doctor doctor this is like something going on and she kept saying it's gonna get better with time your bloating is going away it's gonna get go away you will be fine just wait and see but it's not going away I'm struggling on a daily basis with this feeling and it's just killing me because when you live in that much discomfort on a daily basis it affects you a lot it affects your daily routines it affects your like everything yeah like uh, like parenting like everything anything whatever you're doing you just kind of doing it thinking about your organs down there or I cannot wear normal clothes and you know this is I want a parking lot I need to choose something that is baggy but I don't like that but I have no other choices you guys and yeah this is hard honestly this is very hard so another thing is my appetite is sky high my appetite is whew, it's high and cravings are real you know for example I had my lunch at about 2 p.m. and I ate a lot you guys I ate rice with beef with chicken and salad it was a huge lunch and I knew that typically I'm okay until evening in the evening I can eat some fruits some herbal tea or like something light but around 5 36 I got so hungry you guys so hungry I had some snacks in my bag like I all the time have like, different kind of snacks in my purse because I have three kiddos I need to have something with me all the times so I ate popcorn I ate 
tummy bears, like a little bit of everything. And when I came home, I was starving. I came home at 6.30, I made myself a salad and I ate that salad and I still feel after that it was a huge bowl and after that I still felt like um, I want something else, something sweet and I ate just one candy, no more than that and I had a cup of her herbal tea with sugar substitution so it just not typical me probably th the doctor told me that when you are on birth control it it can cause some weight gain especially in the beginning it can cause your appetite like in to increase yeah and probably this is this is it but this is something that i don't really like my acne situation is kind of i would say one day is better one day is worse it's kind of back and forth back and forth but you know guys i need to do something with that because having cramps and being bloated like that and having cramps down there it's not the best thing ever I'm just waiting until I complete week three of taking birth control and then my period is gonna come and hopefully after that everything is gonna be out that I have there right now that is uh, bothering me right now even at that moment when I'm filming this video I do feel it so I just yeah I'm very hopeful that everything is gonna be out and my belly and I, my uterus and my ovaries will go back to its normal hopefully 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 yeah and with my appetite you you just cannot do anything with this you know if you feel hungry like starving you have to eat something you just have to choose some healthy make some healthy choices you have to choose some you know like less calorie food like fruits or veggies but the thing is it's not always works you know so the thing is yeah i'm gonna test today guys this is just silly this is just you know probably i'm gonna test tomorrow i need to make sure that i do have enough tests pregnancy tests yeah i don't have any i need to buy one yeah i'm gonna test any day soon you guys and i will update you guys i will do a live pregnancy test with you guys because like i love doing this and I want to make sure that the cramps and the appetite is not like pregnancy related symptoms. I'm pretty sure that I'm not pregnant, but the doctor said take a test if you feeling like confused, especially in the beginning of taking like birth control pills. So I'm gonna do this, probably, yeah, not today, probably in a couple of days, but yeah, I just feel that it's time, yeah. I wanna make sure that I have enough tests. Yeah, this is the situation, not, not the best situation, not the best things ever. And I have a doctor's appointment in about three weeks from now and the doctor will give will give me all the results of my blood work that i had i had a big blood work to check everything and anything like genetic genetic situation and everything to make sure that nothing prevents me from having a healthy baby and then um my plan is to have a second opinion another consultation with a different doctor my insurance company doesn't cover that doctor i have to pay cash for the visit but it is what it is i just have to do this because i want to ask that doctor um whether or not i need to wait for almost a year till i can start trying again because waiting you know it's so hard to wait it's very hard to wait 
so yeah this is an update and I will see you guys in the next video in the next video I'm gonna start testing because I want to make sure that I'm not pregnant before moving on <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one